After a lengthy delay, a second group of hostages were released from Hamas captivity in exchange for Palestinian prisoners. Russia claims to have shot down two missiles over the Sea of Azov and more than 20 drones in an attack by Ukraine targeting several regions. Red Cross vehicles carrying a second group of hostages to freedom. 13 Israelis and four Thai nationals held by Hamas were released late last night after many hours of waiting. The Palestinian militant group delayed the exchange after accusing Israel of failing to respect the terms of their truce agreement. An agonizing wait also for the families of 39 Palestinian prisoners who were freed as part of the deal. The six women and 33 teenagers arrived by bus in Beitunia in the occupied West Bank. Meanwhile, two Palestinians were reportedly killed and seven others were injured in clashes with Israeli security forces during a raid in the West Bank city of Jenin on Saturday night. The Palestinian Health Ministry says two of the wounded are in a critical condition. And in Israel, thousands of people gathered in a square in Tel Aviv to demand the release of all hostages still being held in the Gaza Strip. <laughs> In total, 50 Israeli hostages and 150 Palestinian prisoners are to be freed during the four-day truce. Thai officials say 18 of its citizens still remain in captivity. A new day with some respite for Palestinians in Gaza after seven weeks of bombardment. As the four-day truce between Hamas and Israel holds, they're using the calm to venture out and about. Residents have been taking stock of the damage to their neighborhood, searching for belongings and people beneath the rubble, and buying what essential supplies they can get hold of. Trucks loaded with badly needed food, drinking water and medicine are finally reaching the northern combat zone, where desperate people were seen grabbing what they could. The Sea of Azov, connected to the Black Sea by a narrow strait. This is where Russia claims it shot down two Ukrainian surface-to-air missiles that had been adapted to hit land targets. It also says it thwarted a drone attack, shooting down more than 20 of them over Moscow and the regions of Bryansk, Smolensk and Tula. An air raid alert sounded in annexed Crimea in the south and the Kerch Bridge was closed for a while. Officials said one person was injured in Tula when one of the intercepted drones crashed into an apartment building. During the night, Russia launched nine kamikaze drones across Ukraine, eight of which Kyiv says were shot down. This comes a day after it said the capital experienced the largest Russian drone attack since the start of the war. With winter weather settling in, both sides are looking to take ground that could be springboards for future advances. Snowstorms have hit Romania, Bulgaria, Serbia and Moldova after Cyclone Bettina formed over the Black Sea. In Moldova, two people died in road accidents. And a red alert for bad weather remains in place in four eastern counties in neighbouring Romania, two of them on the Black Sea. Red weather alerts were also issued for four regions in northeastern Bulgaria due to both the snow and the high winds. And the centre and the west of the country were also hit by snowstorms. It was a similar story in Serbia, where roads became impassable in the west and high winds brought down trees and power lines. In Italy, one woman died after a tree brought down by the high winds fell on top of her as she was walking along the pavement in Rome. Over 300 trees and branches came down in the city and six people were injured. One tree fell onto a children's playground at midday on Saturday, but fortunately no one was hurt.